So here's my bracket, and two of them fit on an A1 Mini. So I sliced it, and it said 43 minutes to print both of them. This is amazing, and it looks great. The finish is so smooth, and I didn't do anything but standard settings. Here's the two brackets. Now they're actually going to snap on here, but just to make sure it fits, I'm going to slide it over the edge here, and you can see it's fine. So I can snap these on, so the next step is to mount these to the rafters. The advantage to using the 4mm holes is these drywall screws screw in and hold in place, but I can still spin them. So I screwed in the top screw first and had to go around that pipe. Once I got this into place, I could pivot it and make sure this thing was parallel to the pegboard, which I did with a level. Then I screwed in the second screw and this thing was solid. Now I put a mark on the bracket right at the rafter and then I brought the other bracket in and I put a mark at the same point. This is how I'm going to make sure that they're both at the same height from the rafter. And then I measured from the pegboard to the outer edge of the installed bracket and then I took that same measurement and marked the rafter where the new ones are going to go so I know I'm the same distance from the pegboard that way the light will be parallel. So now I just line up those two marks and then do the same thing as before. I installed the top screw and then I can pivot this thing and then use the level to make sure that it's level and then I can install the second screw and then this thing is solid just as the first one and we're ready to snap in the overhead light. This thing is positioned perfectly. I just had to wrap the excess cord around one of the brackets, plug it in, pull the chain, and I've got a ton of light over my workbench.